Returning to our breaking news, and the Queensland Corruption Commission has confirmed it won't investigate Jackie Trad over the purchase of a Brisbane investment property. Brendan Smith has been following the story. Brendan, it's now going to be up to the Premier still to decide if Jackie Trad stays, because the politics of this remains. Yeah, that's right, Tom. There have been major calls from the LNP when this story first broke about 50 days ago to sack Jackie Triad after the purchase of that $700,000 investment property in Wool and Gabber. I'll read some of the Triple C statement now. The Triple C says there's no evidence or information that was identified that supported a reasonable suspicion of corrupt conduct. However, the Triple C does uh, release some recommendations to Parliament. It has uh, recommended that the state government create a criminal offence for failing to comply with the Register of Members' interests. So had that law been uh, put in place when this happened, it would have been a criminal offence. But as it stands, Jackie Trad has been cleared of that purchase. Of course, this is when her husband purchased a $695,000 investment property in Woolloongabba. That property is right near the multi-billion dollar Cross River Rail project. That specific property would be uh, benefiting from that project, not only an increase in property prices, but also rental income as well. We will be hearing from either Jackie Trad or the Premier potentially at some point today about what the future holds for Jackie Trad. And no doubt the LNP will come out firing in the next couple of hours as well, Tom.